We're joined today by Tim Seigenbeek von Hookalong, Chief Impact Officer at Social Suite. Tim, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Social Suite. Firstly, what is it and why is it so important? The Social Suite is a software as a service technology company. So what we do is we create software and we really focus on environmental, social and governance software. So what sets us apart is that we're creating solutions, technology solutions, but with the appropriate support as well, what we call ESD coaches. So it's not, here's your software, you're on your own. We've got a really good smart platform with the, the relevant support around it that helps in particular small companies start that journey around ESG. They are the ones often struggling to get started. The larger companies, they got sustainability teams, they know what to do, they have their, you know, their own struggles, but it's the smaller end of town, the listed companies. There's a lot of them on the ASX that are micro caps to small caps, and they need that support. They feel the urgency around ESG to do something, but they need to start that journey and they don't know how. And that's what we really got a right size solution for at Social Suite. Why do they need to start the journey? Why is ESG for a micro cap, small cap company so important? Well, we see there's a number of reasons there. Um, ESG can really drive value in your company. And for a lot of the, the micro and small caps, the first and foremost concern is, how can I raise more capital? How can I get that investment into my business to grow and to get to the next phase of, of my business? And investors are really driving, globally speaking, but also in Australia, really driving um, the demand for ESG information. They are the ones saying, I want to better understand your company. I understand it from a uh, product and business and financial point of view. But today we realize that companies have a lot more information, non-financial information, that really informs me how your company is going to perform in the short, medium and long term. So that non-financial ESG or sustainability information really gives investors a, a whole other perspective to look at how am I going to allocate my resources? Is your company in a good position to put my funding into? So from that access to capital perspective, if that is mostly in people's mind, then there is an emerging body of regulation coming. There's a key risk management perspective. There's a whole investor relations and information flow that really helps you, especially at that smaller level of your company, um, to really drive that news flow around what are you doing, transparency around the, the initiatives and the actions you take. Reputation and branding plays automatically in that as well. But also, what a lot of people forget around ESG, it's not just risk focused. It is also the flip side. It's about finding opportunities in the supply chain or with some operations you already have. Uh, we had a company that said, well, we found with existing operations, we can really simply start developing carbon credits and create an entire new income stream. And they didn't realize that until started that ESG journey. Do companies think it's too hard when they actually start the process or before they start the process, do they think, particularly small cap companies, am I just adding a layer of work that I just don't have the resources to do? Definitely, a lot of companies think that ESG is complex um, that ESG is expensive, that ESG is something that we shouldn't do, it's not relevant to us, there's no value in it, we're too small for ESG, it is politicized, um, it's a profit killer, keep going. Like, there's a lot of perceptions and concerns about ESG, but in reality what you see, it's just another lens of looking at your business. How are you running your business? How are you governing your business? Um, how are you actually making sure that you're creating value, in, like I said, in the short, medium and long term from that sustainability point of view? So it, it helps a lot for a company to start that journey and they only realize that value once they go through those steps or, and that we see that increasingly, when they look at their peers. If they see the peers around them doing this and actually, you know, getting capital into the business or getting better investor attention, getting more stakeholder engagement, and they realize it is due to that ESG journey, they all want to do the same thing effectively. So it's not just a shiny new toy or something that'll, a fad that'll pass. It's something that companies should actively be now pursuing as part of their overall strategy. Yes, where ESG and sustainability related reporting sits, um, it's still in the early days, and that's why a lot of people think it is very complex. But globally, there is an emerging push towards standardization, unification, and really the same thing that happened with accounting 
the financial standards. Throughout the 70s, 80s and 90s, that has been pushed globally um, toward one standard. And everyone is pretty much doing the same thing now. So that's just something you do. And people need to realize that sustainability and ESG reporting is not a one-off. It's not the same thing with financial reporting. It's not you do your one-time one financial report and you never have to worry about it again. You keep doing it. So at some point, all this will be in the future integrated. So you will do your reporting, corporate reporting, including financial, non-financial disclosures. And ESG is now on that emerging pathway where it is being integrated and where it is being standardized. And that global movement is, is really accelerated at the moment. And we see that it's really driven by investors at the institutional level. But we also see more recently that retail investors are really cottoning on to this. The latest ASX um, retail investor study this year, 2023, found that there's a big growing body of retail investors, mostly that next generation that really cares about ESG. They really seriously look at it. Now that generation, is becoming larger and they are going to be the main ones in 10 to 20 years to do that retail investment. They care and that won't stop. So if you care about your investors and care about access to capital, and if you understand where the market's going, that ESG will be normalized is one of the reporting things that you have to do. You're starting your journey today. You're not waiting another five, 10 or 20 years. Social Suite offering the solution for small mid cap companies to handle and manage its ESG needs. Tim, we look forward to following the growth of the company. Exciting times ahead. Thanks for your time. Thanks, David.